Hi everyone, so today we're gonna talk about Earth systems and feedback loops, so let's get started. So how do Earth systems interact? Well, all Earth systems are connected. They are the parts that make the whole Earth system. And one little change to any part of the Earth systems, for instance, the atmosphere, can cause multiple changes to the other Earth systems as well. And these interactions are what help shape our planet dynamics. So let's talk about an example say a volcano erupts that volcano erupting would be our geosphere or the lithosphere and that when that volcano erupts it releases um, volcanic ash and gases to the atmosphere and this is how our lithosphere or geosphere is connected to our atmosphere or impacts our atmosphere now if our atmosphere is flooded with gases and volcanic ash then that can start blocking sunlight from entering um, the Earth's surface and it can cause the climate to become cooler. And now if the climate suddenly becomes a lot cooler, then it can affect the biosphere or the living things. Um, and this is how our atmosphere, our geosphere and our biosphere are all connected. And now if our volcano erupts and this can also affect our hydrosphere uh, by changing the uh, the rivers the path of rivers or dumping uh, ash into the hydrosphere or even uh, the geosphere or the lithosphere can affect itself by changing the shape of the land as well everything is connected so where do humans come in then well, humans are part of the biosphere. We are life and we tend to burn fossil fuels, oil, natural gases, and um, this can affect the atmosphere and our climate. And remember, if we're one, making one change to one part of the Earth system, then it's going to have other changes to other parts of the Earth system. So one change to our atmosphere can affect our hydrosphere, our oceans, our land, everything. And some a lot of times we dump um toxic waste in our waters and this pollution can affect our hydrosphere and we are also affecting our geosphere as well with our human activities. So this can cause feedback loops in earth systems. So feedback loops are chains of cause and effect and there are two types. The first is a positive feedback loop and this is when your one change happens to an earth system and it can cause a series of other chains of uh, changes to other earth systems and just worsens the original condition we also have an example of a negative feedback loop which is the opposite one change to the earth system can cause changes that bring the uh, systems back to balance the original condition so an example of a positive feedback loop would be remember positive feedback loops are when the so original situation is worsening or the change is amplifying so say um because of global warming the temperature is increasing and this can cause snow and ice to melt and if snow and ice melts then there's more darker surfaces on earth and those darker surfaces are absorbing more light and if the darker surfaces absorb more light then the earth heats up even more and it causes this loop that amplifies or worsens now negative feedback loop is about balancing so normally this happens in, in our bodies if our body temperature increases we start to sweat to cool down down and then our body temperature decreases. This is balance and stability. Now, if our body temperature decreases, we start to shiver and then our body temperature increases to go back to stability. And that's what a negative feedback loop is. In summary, earth systems always affect each other. One little change to one part of the earth systems can have uh, multiple changes to other parts of the earth systems and humans have a huge role to play in this. We are always interacting with our uh, environment, all these different systems and causing changes with our human activities. And studying our Earth systems and their interactions can help us solve real world problems. Um, so what's next? Next we'll talk about global change and human impact, how humans are changing Earth on a global scale, what the differences between local impacts and global impacts, and how our choices shape the future of the planet. Thank you.